Hi everyone, I'm Ali Reza and in this video I'm going to show you how you can use Enet and Workflow to scrape LinkedIn profiles. So the output of the workflow will be like this. We get a list of profiles here with the name, title, also link uh, to the profile, a little bit of a, a snippet from their descriptions, their summary. And this is a really good start to have some leads from LinkedIn to send DM message or use it in your marketing workflow. The way we are going to use this workflow is to use Google Custom Query Search API. With this API, you can get the query result of the Google and how it works is that you can get the same result as you usually get when you search in Google, for example, for a DevOps engineer role and you want to filter it based on the LinkedIn, you can go further and add some more criteria like the, the, the location, like the industry, different things. And I'm going to walk you through this workflow to see how we need to configure the workflow and we are going to run it again. So as I said, we are going to use the Google Query Search API, but before jumping to the implementation, I would like to invite you also to join to AI Studio community where there are lots of things are happening around agentic AI, generative AI, and we can share a lot of things with each other. You also get access to all resources that you see in my YouTube channel over there. So you can download the templates and with a little bit of effort, you can get it up and running. Back to the tutorial, we are going to use custom search API, which means that you need to enable custom search API. For that, you can go to the cloud.google.com on the console part and then enable the custom search API. Once you enable the custom search API, you should be able to create the credentials for that. And then you can copy the, the, the key from here into the workflow. The other thing we need to configure is the programmable search engine. You need to create a programmable search engine. You can name it whatever you want. And here we just choose the search entire web and click on the captcha and then create the search engine. Once you create that, you get the search engine ID, which you can use later in the workflow. Okay, let's come back to the workflow. The workflow currently starts manually, means that every time you run the workflow, it will start uh, pulling up the information using Google Query. So in order to start, I created the, this fields component to get criteria for the query. Currently, what we need to do, we need to define how many pages we want to get from this query because normally when you run the custom query it, it gives you back the 10 records but doesn't mean that it's the all of them for example it might be a 10,000 records so it gives you in a, pay, a pagination and each page contains 10 records so here the pages are indexed and in this case I defined the, the first index from one and of course I said I just need two or sorry I just need one page as a maximum but you can define for example 10 pages me means that 10 pages of 10 records 100 records so the next step is to configure the google uh, query search and we need to create a http request here and put the url base url here and then we need to define some query parameters like the key the key is actually the credential that you set up in the API, the one that I already mentioned here. So you can define the API key here and then you use the API key in your workflow. You, you can paste it here. The CX here is that search engine ID that you are going to use here. So once you create the search engine ID, you can paste it here. And here also you have the, the, the query. That is the actual query you're going to use to get the LinkedIn profiles out of your API. And the last one is the about controlling over the, the pagination. So I created a kind of a formula to make sure that uh, every time we get the next batch of records, and I think you can, you can do it completely in different ways, but this is this is working for me. And after that, when uh, once we get the information from the, uh, the query, we can see how we can extract the results. So I'm going to run it until here. 
just to see okay now we did uh, execute the query now we got the information here on the right side i can walk you through the information this is quite interesting the start index is one the count is 10 which means 10 records and this is the, the title we were searching the devops engineer new york also we said uh, the site linkedin so as you can see the total result is yeah it's more than 1 million which means that we have a lot of pages of information and we need to uh, paginate those information so the information is also coming in this format so actually we need to extract the information here i added a node code node part here to extract the information and turn it to json when you run this step it will give us the information in a good format then we can actually see everything is separated based on the name title link snippet of information image so now we have everything here so basically we can go to the next one the next one is the update google sheets with the update google sheets it's pretty straightforward you need to connect to your google account and, and i think this is something that i have covered in a lot of videos that i created the different workflows you need to connect to your google account and configure that and once you do that you can use it between a lot of workflows you create in nhn so once you configure that you need to choose the app and row here as an operation connect to your google sheet and here we just configure the fields that we want to insert here and that's it then we are done so i added the wait note here the reason i added wait note here because we, uh, we need to wait a little bit between the 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 the, the api calls to make sure that we are not actually passing the threshold on the concurrent call and that's why you add maybe around 10 seconds 5 to 10 seconds to just make sure that we are not blocked by google we one and one thing is important is that this api call that we are doing uh, this is uh, completely free so with your free google account you can still get around 10 thousand records per day which means 10 times of 10 records which means 10 pages so every day you can run your api and get those records for free so one once we finish the wait we go to the pagination uh, check and here i added some criteria just to make sure that if we already configured that the maximum page is more than one or something then we can actually continue the, the workflow until that we reach to the maximum page that we configured on the beginning so just to show you the execution of the workflow i will remove this information and then i come back to the workflow and I just run the, the workflow again. So as you can see, the information filled up immediately in the workflow. And then workflow is now running the wait node. And because I configured one page, I mean as a maximum, the workflow ends at one. If you configure more, the workflow continues with more pages until it's done. So with this uh, workflow, you're able to easily get the uh, LinkedIn profile leads and then you can DM to the profiles, run it to your other workflows you have for the marketing and other things. Hopefully you like this video, subscribe this channel to support me to continue these videos and uh, see you in the next video. Thank you.